Hello Knitters! So today I want to show you how to do an I-cord cast-on. Uh, so um, the I-cord cast-on I really like because it creates a really clean edge on your base and then you can also use it, which I'll show you how, to continue on having a really nice selvage edge in your project. To start out, um, we're just going to do a long tail cast-on and add three stitches to the needle. There's my three. Okay, and then I'm just going to knit across those three stitches. And then take those three that you just knit and we're going to slip them back over to the left needle. This is what's going to create the eye cord or the tube. Perfect. Just keep and then knit across again. And slip them back over. Knit again. Pull that first stitch a little tight and that's what kind of closes that cord up for you. You can also do this part on a double point needle and then you can just slide it back and forth, but I'm using the needles that I would use for the project. I'm going to slide over again. And it across. And you can see I've got one, two, three stitches that I could pick up. This one here is still attached to the needle, so I wouldn't want to pick up another stitch in there. Um, so I'm going to do this a couple more times so we can pick up five stitches. Slide it back over to my left needle. And knit across. There's going to be four stitches there to pick up, and we'll do it one more time. Lost that one. There we go. And knit across. Okay. So, not counting this one attached to the needle, you can see I've got one, two, three, four and five stitches on this high cord. So to pick those stitches up, you want to keep in line with this row that's attached to the needle on your right hand side. So right here you see that loop, that's your first stitch. So I'm going to put my left needle into from the back to the front of that loop and then in catching both legs of the stitch and then go in and knit that onto the needle. So the second one will be right below that. Knit into that. Number three is right below that. Grab both legs and knit into that. Four. And then the last one, right there. So five. So we've got our five stitches picked up from the I cord, but we need to pick up the stitches for the other selvage edge. So to do that, you do that on your wrong side row. So we're going to turn your work, and we need to pick up three stitches along where we cast on. This, you know, can get a little fiddly this part, but I'm just going to go in closest to the needle first and first bring that working yarn back to the back, pick that up, 
use your left needle and pull that through. So then we need to get a second stitch on there, which will go working yarn in the back, pick that up, and then we need one more, so we'll grab right here, and there we go. So we've knit across that, so that's our, th our three stitches for the selvage edge, and then our one, two, three, four, five for the middle, and then the three stitches for our other selvage edge. So I'll just purl across these five stitches. I do pick or do continental style, but you can easily do this throwing as well. So I've purled my five. And then what you do to keep that selvage edge and to keep that cord forming on your edges, bring your working yarn to the front and just slip those last three stitches onto the needle. Okay. Then I'm going to turn my work again. And I'm going to knit just up to those last three stitches. Since I didn't knit these three on the last pass, when I knit that first stitch, it's going to pull it to around to the back, and that keeps that cord. There's my th three edge, and then I'm going to knit my five across. Get a little more yarn here. Then just bring the yarn to the front, and you slip the last three stitches. So there we have it, I did a I-cord cast on, so that gives that really pretty clean edge, and then I'm keeping that I-cord edging along the project on the sides. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, and happy knitting!